group recently made an official decision to build a 21st century industrial complex, a group of cutting-edge production plants spanning multiple industries and business categories. The plant site is in the Sakaihama Coastal District in Sakai, a city in Osaka Prefecture. This location is less than 30 minutes from Kansai International Airport. The vast construction site covers 313 square acres, making it four times as large as the Kameyama plant. Let's take a closer look at what we mean by further advancing the vertically integrated business model. It involves advancing the vertically integrated business structure established at the Kameyama plant, which handles a range of processes, ranging from the fabrication of LCD panels to the assembly of LCD TVs, by inviting related facilities to share the same site. These facilities include those related to infrastructure, such as energy and gas facilities, the production plants of equipment manufacturers, and those of makers of necessary parts and materials, like glass substrates and color filters. This integration results in many advantages, including improvements in distribution, scale, and in the centralization of production operations. Furthermore, through close collaboration with manufacturers in possession of leading technology, it allows a fusion of expertise to occur across enterprises and leads to more efficient manufacturing. Now let's look at the state-of-the-art LCD panel production plant that will form the centerpiece of the industrial complex. As you can see, demand for LCD panels for large screen TVs is expected to grow to approximately 2.5 times the 2006 level by 2011. To meet this burgeoning demand, Sharp's new plant will use the world's first 10th generation glass substrates, each measuring 9.3 by 10 feet, an area of over 93 square feet. A single 10th generation glass substrate can be divided into six 60-inch LCD panels, eight 50-inch LCD panels, or 15 40-inch LCD panels. At startup, the plant will have a monthly production capacity of 36,000 glass substrates, and this will eventually be increased to 72,000. The state-of-the-art LCD panel production plant is scheduled to go online by March 2010. Next, let's consider the horizontal development of thin film technology. Sharp has developed and commercialized thin film solar cells that use only 100th as much silicon as crystal type solar cells. Using our proprietary cell technology and production technology, we are going to mass produce solar cell products that achieve the highest conversion efficiency in the industry. Thin film solar cells are based on the same thin film technology used in TFT LCD panels. We decided to build the world's largest thin film solar cell plant within the industrial complex so that we can utilize a shared infrastructure and thereby achieve further cost reductions and improvements in efficiency. The new solar cell plant will have an annual production capacity of 1,000 megawatts. This is equivalent to half of the worldwide solar cell production capacity in 2006, which totaled 2,000 megawatts. We plan to bring the thin film solar cell plant along with the LCD panel plant online by March 2010. We hope that you enjoyed this quick preview of our 21st century industrial complex. By combining the capabilities and expertise of world-level LCD and solar cell related enterprises, we hope to steadily expand our business. What's more, we have recently succeeded in creating a prototype of a next generation LCD TV that combines one-of-a-kind LCD technologies developed and nurtured by Sharp over the years to deliver major advances in picture quality, thinness, and reduced environmental impact. The new prototype has a 52-inch screen size, is less than 0.8 inches thick, 
delivers a contrast ratio of 100,000 to 1 and boasts an annual power consumption of only 140 kilowatt hours. Its exceptional performance and design promise to remake the home TV viewing experience. Expect more startling develops from Sharp in the months and years to come.